Hello and welcome. Today's video is going to be on how to create a animated motion graphic element or add using the web graphics creator uh, webgraphicscreator.com um, so when you enter into the members area you can select all these different assets but um, today we're talking about a motion graphic so if you click on this you're going to get some templates here and what I'm going to do is just select and I like to use this one because uh, it's uh, pretty easy to work with the first thing you need to do is click on the video and what you want to do is click on edit and delete the background video and then the next thing you want to do is file and you want to import uh, a video um, that you want to use so I have a, a, a video um, ready to go and I'm going to select this video here I'm going to bring this in so now you drag the handles to get the video to where you want it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm not going to use the whole background so that video is in place and I want to click on the background and what I want to do is I want to change the color I can put a color code here or I can simply select by clicking the box and then clicking the color now I don't like that contrast so simply by dragging down you'll notice the color here is changing and I'm going to get it to something that's comfortable and close to the contrast of the background now that I got it I'll click outside of that and my next thing is to click on this text okay I'm going to open up Google and I typed in my venue name and searched and here I can copy the address to the venue that I'm getting the ad for I'm going to come back in and what I want to do is click here and highlight that text and then on my keyboard I'm going to select a control V to put that text in there and then I want to hit my enter one two uh, so I see my thing there because I want to go back I want to grab the phone number to the venue and I'm going to right click and then select copy I'm going to come back and here uh, control V and now I like this text and and where it's at so I'm going to leave that alone but now I want to bring in my um, logo and uh, I'm going to come to my folder that I have my logo in for the venue and here I'm going to select the logo I'm going to bring that in and I'm going to grab the handles to bring it down and I want to bring it sort of to try to center it I click outside of that and say okay let me let me adjust that and so now I got this asset in place so now I want to bring another image in import image and this time I'm looking for uh, some dances that I have so I'm going to go to a folder where I have some dances and we find that asset fast for you guys so let's say I wanted to use this image here I select that open and that brings my image in and I like the size if I didn't I can drag it out from the corners I can move it left to right so now I don't like that it covered my logo so I'm going to click outside of that and then I'm going to click on my logo and I'm going to options and I want to bring that to the front so it's over uh, the lady's legs and now it's in the front and I'm going to click out of that so you can see it's on top now so the next thing I want to do is um, I'm going to bring in another image import image and uh, I'm going to come to my pictures and I have some transparent images um, so I'm going to come to my transparent images I'm going to come down and I'm going to select another image now I like this one here I'm going to bring it in and I'm going to resize it by dragging the corner and I want to bring it to the top and I want him to face the other way so I can grab this and drag it around okay bring it back in place 
you could resize it and I'm going to click outside of that so now you see that I'm going to go to edit add new text I'm going to click here double click I'm going to erase the text and I'm going to write the name now I'm going to go to text format Google fonts and as you see I can click any one of these fonts and it changes and once I get a font that I like I can click on the outside come back to the text menu go to the color now if I have a color code I can put it here or I can simply select and create I like the yellow color scheme now I'm going to click out of that I'm going to click outside of that and then click back on my asset I'm going to resize it down and now I'm able to drag this to where I want it and I can click outside to see it if it's not centered where I want it I can uh, sort of move it okay I like that now I want to do edit new text double click delete that text now I got that I can go to back to text format click on Google fonts I can click through the fonts till I find something that I like and if I like that one I click outside now I'm gonna go back change to color once again I'm gonna go yellow okay simply by clicking that off at a color code I can put it there I'm gonna click outside of that go back to the text menu but now I'm gonna click outside click back on this so I can resize this text bring it back click outside see how that looks if you don't like it you can click on it and you can you can move it okay I like that so now the next thing I want to do is give this a title so edit new text I'm gonna double click okay I like this font because it's a uh, large thick font and now I'm gonna come here I'm going to keep the yellow color scheme click outside of that and now I want to click outside of this click back on this and now I could drag this out right I could even drag it out if, if you don't want it uh, so thick you drag it out now I have this about where I want this I'm going to click outside of that okay now I can come back and say edit I'm going to go new text text format Google fonts now I want a script so I'm going to type in script and you see some some new script uh, fonts show up and I can click here to I find uh, which one I like but the, here's what I want to do I want to click here because I want to see the actual word that I want so it's Latin nights okay so now click back on Google fonts and script and I'm gonna find a script that I like so let's say I like this one right here now I click on the outside come back to the text menu text color now you can come here or if you know the color code one two three four five six six F's equals white I select enter it changes my text to white I'm going to click down on the bottom here and then I'm going to click back on my text I'm going to drag it down okay now I like that I'm going to drag this out a little bit okay to get it where I want it I like that it covers over that but I don't like that it covers my logo so I'm going to select out I'm going to select back on my logo go to options and bring it to the front so now that G falls behind my logo I select out now if I'm happy with this motion graphic first thing I want to do is save save this asset okay I'm going to name this uptown motion flyer okay and then I'm going to name this as test flyer for now test flyer 3 and I'm going to click to save
I'm going to let that save my design. Now, in order to render this out, I have to click on the video in order for this menu to come up. And then I'm going to click on GIF record. Now, the video in the background, if I render it at 100%, it's going to be choppy and jumpy. So I like to bring this down to either a 10 or move it to a 20. In this case, I'm going to leave it at 10. I'm going to leave everything alone. I'm going to name this Uptown Test 3. And I'm going to click Record. Now it's going to say Recording 10.43 seconds requires 105 seconds to record this GIF. So once it's done recording the GIF, a window will open allowing me to save and download my GIF. So let's wait the 105 seconds and see what the end result is. Now you can see that it opened up a window and I'm able to save that GIF image and now I should be able to open the GIF and there is my animated GIF playing. There it is, full screen. And um, now I'm going to close out that preview. And thank you for watching this video. I'm Joe Ferdinando at FerdyWorks.com. And it was a pleasure recording this tutorial for you today. Thank you.